to Joy Fitness 43 and today we're going to do part four of five and we're going to be doing the chest, uh, the lower back for the ab girdle and we're going to be doing quads today. So for this workout you're going to need a set of weights, um, a mat. Um, we're going to be doing um, some quad work that's going to involve being on your knees and getting up. Um, so if you have sensitive knees, you might want a couch cushion um, or a really good mat for the knees. Um, also, you might want a chair too, or a bench or the side of your, you might use your couch, an ottoman, um, something that you can get up and down from because we're gonna do those seated pistol squats uh, for this workout, all righty? So, uh, we're going to start with our five minute warm up now already. So we're going to start with uh, squats. So you're going to have a shoulder width legs, okay? And we're going to come down and up. I'm going to try not to burn my tush while I'm doing it. It's all of like 19 degrees outside. And so the garage has this heater, but you're not right up against it. It's really cold in the garage. So you have to tell me if you're getting a good sweat from this workout because it's so cold in here that um, I don't really sweat that much during this, these workouts. But I'm thinking if I was at home or, you know, come summertime, not in such a dry climate that I'd probably sweat a lot more. Alrighty, so let's take a not wider stance here. So we're going to warm up those quads just a little bit more from a different angle. Toes are pointed out. Coming up, squeezing the buns together. Okay. And the knees, because we're going to be coming up and down. So I haven't done this one exercise that we're going to start with for the quads in a while because it's a toughie, okay? So you'll enjoy it. I've got a couple others that I really like for the quads in this workout. Okay, so then we're going to come in here and we're going to just take our hands slide them down, okay, so you're leaving your back flat and come back up, okay, just slide them down, a little squeeze, so you have to remember your, we've talked about this before, your abs are girdle, so we need to get them from all four directions, so today we're going to work on the low back as part of that ab girdle. want to, we're just going to do some kick out, so I'm going to lean on my chair here, stool, couch, ottoman, whatever you want to, just going to kick out that back leg, and the other side, just warming up that lower back.
big circle around. So we're taking it back. And I want you to think about your chest here, not just your shoulder. Okay, let's take the other side. look left to right or right to left. And then bring your head back to center and we're all done. Okay, so we're going to start with our exercise. We're going to start on the ground and we're actually going to stay on the ground for all three exercises. Um, we're just going to roll around a lot. So go ahead and grab your mat. Now I had mine doubled over and I actually have another mat on the inside. Um, I'm going to lay down and we're going to start with um, a, a chest press, a lying down chest press. Alrighty, so get yourself onto the ground and comfortable. Make sure that back is nice and comfy and your chin is parallel or vertical with the floor. So don't be tucked in and don't be looking behind you, okay? So you want to have a nice neutral chin and your back is nice and flat. I like to lift the hips up, roll down, get a nice flat back, tailbones down so that when I breathe I can inhale, exhale and push that belly button down into the mat so that I'm going to be working my abs the whole time and be able to get a good breath. Okay? So, go. And wait. And I'm going to hit the timer for 10 seconds. Remember, we're doing 50 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest in between. We're going to do four, three sets here, and we're going to do four rounds. Okay, so we're going to do a chest press. So weight, elbows will go out, and then we'll bring that weight back up. So make sure the weight stays over the chest and not over your head. So we'll do typical ones, chest press, chest fly, we're going to do a wide push up, and then our last one will be um, a fancier combination. There we go, keep going. those elbows out nice and wide when you do those chest presses. Okay, so I'm going to move my weights out of the way. We're going to get on our hands and knees, and we're actually going to do a bird dog. Um, so hands and knees, opposite arm, opposite leg are going to go up, and you're going to keep that neck in alignment with your spine. And we're trying to get the arm and leg in alignment with the spine too. Okay, so we're just going to raise them out. So we're working that lower back and the upper back because our arm is coming out too. But we're just alternating sides, extending just a little pause at the top. Pull the belly button in so that that back is supported. Okay, now we're going to turn and you're going to get on your knees here. Okay, this is a fun one. And we're going to go up, up, stay in the little squat, and then you're going to go down, down. And then we're going to start with the other leg. Up, up, and then down, down. Up, up, down. And the other side, up, up, down, down, up, up, woo, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. 
So it's kind of like when we do it with our arms, um, but we're going to do it with our legs. And we switch sides. And then we try to stay in the squat when we come up. Perfect. Okay, now we get back down, grab them, chest press again. Now remember to get those elbows out as far as you can. Over the chest, not over the head. Really poke those elbows out to the side. All righty, weights up, hands and knees, neck in alignment, and reach. Opposite hand, opposite leg, so you always have a steady base. If you do same arm, same leg, you'll probably tip over. So you'll know you're not doing it correctly. That's it. Keep going. Good. Exhaling when you extend your arm and leg out. Are you pulling up that belly button? Gotta pull up that belly button. Okay, are you ready? Okay, so here we go. Start on the side this time. And then come down on that side, other side. Of course, you go faster than me. Try not to, you know, hurt myself. <laughs> That back happy, chin happy, elbows out. Of course, as you're exhaling, you're pushing that belly button in towards the mat. So can you feel that little pull under the chest wall? So why do we do chest presses? Um, you're building the muscle under your chest wall in order to support your breast tissue. It doesn't make your boobs bigger, um, but it's going to help support them, especially if you have larger breasts then you want that because if you're large breasted, it's tough because, oh, it, you know, weighs on your back. So you want to help lift the breasts up so that they're not pulling you forward. Now, if you're small chested, it will give you the appearance of a little bit bigger breasts 
also. So it does help you that way. But of course, as you lose body fat, you know, you kind of you kind of lose that breast tissue. You know, unfortunately, some of us were born with more breast tissue and some of us not. So that's not anything that weightlifting can help you with as far as getting more breast tissue. Sorry. But, you know, it's just, oops, my leg. I'm gonna go down. Okay, now I'm gonna use the other leg up and down. There we go, because I'm talking. But it helps you to for your back and for your chest so that you're not, you know, getting pulled forward and it can help lift them up, which we all want instead of they're not down around our belly button. We don't want that, right? Okay, I gotta pay attention to my legs. Up, up, down, down, up, up. Alrighty, end of round one. Okay, let's get a drink of water. You're like, whoo, glad we're done with that one. Okay, so now is when we're gonna use the um, chair. Um, so we have that handy. So I flipped this over so it's lower today. Uh, so hopefully um, I'll be able to uh, rise from it <laughs> for our pistol squats. Alrighty, so we're going to start with um, a chest squat. And then we're going to do a plank with a leg raise. So I'm actually going to be, I'm going to be on my, you know, you can be on your elbows or you can be on your hands for this one. I'm going to start on my hands and we'll see how I feel about that. When I'm on my elbows, I love being on my elbows, but I always rub the skin right off my elbows. Alrighty, so grab those weights, lay back down. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Remember, you can pause me anytime if you need more rest time. Okay, here we go. Okay, so arms straight, elbows bent just a little above the chest, not the face. Okay, so we're gonna open and close. So mine going down, so the back of my arm touches the mat. Uh, my weights are heavy enough that I can't get, like, the back of my hand and the weight down to the mat. If you have really light weights, you might be able to completely get that down, which is great, because it just opens up your chest a little bit more. But I feel it just with this, because I have plenty of weight in each hand. And again, as we bring that weight up, we blow out and push the belly button down, helping to support the lower back and get a little bit of an ab workout. Okay, so we're going to put the weights down, get into a plank position. Now, you can even do this on your knees by just lifting a leg up, okay? So knees and lift up. Okay, so you can do it that way or out in the plank position and we're just going to raise one leg at a time. Either way does the workout that we need for that lower back. Try not to drop your head down and look underneath you. And then we're going to stand up and do pistol squats. Okay, so standing up, getting to our chair, sit down. Okay, one foot nice and firm, tucked in just a little bit, Whew, up and then down. If you need to put the opposite leg 
on the floor a little bit to help you get up. That's fine. As long as you're not using that leg too much, it's fine to help you balance, to help get up. I'm at a lower surface today. I kind of need it. So we'll do the other leg, leg next time. Okay, so we're doing flies, remember? Take your time with them. Pause in that out motion. There we go. I had to write my breathing. Okay, coming up, getting into that plank position. need a little bit more help. If you're a little bit higher, you probably won't need as much help. So depending on how high your chair is, if you're coming up off the couch, it's a little bit harder than coming up off the, a chair, like your dinner table chair. Because your couch is probably soft and it's lower. Okay, last set. Grab those weights. Okay, here we go. Check your breathing, check that chin. Is your back happy? Is your head happy? Good job. Turn it over, get ready, and go. Remember, you can be on your knees, you can be on your elbows. Whichever feels 
the best for you. So if you have bad wrists and you want to be on your elbows, you can be on your elbows. are shaking. Okay, so that was like 16 and 50 seconds, which isn't stellar, but hey, good enough. Okay, now all the way down on my tummy. Arms out front. Okay, arms and legs both going up and head all the way down and then up. Down and up. Look out in front of you. Try to get those knees up off the floor. It's just a little bit. Back, aerial lean back, 
and then come back up. Lean back. Come back up. So I'm catching myself. So you want to feel pull on the front of those legs. Starting from the beginning, wide push-ups. Bring yourself back. You're going to feel that one. Wide arms. Push-ups. Here we go. Tried to make it go faster. Did 21 that time. Okay, on the belly. Superman. Up we go. Okay, good. Okay, here we go. Kneeling squat. Okay, on the knees. Nice and tall. Shoulder width apart. Those knees. Lean it back. As far as you can go. Feel that stress on those quads. Even it out. Good. Wide push up. Get those arms wide. Here we go. to feel that in the shoulders, chest. Oh, that's 20. Okay, all the way down on the belly. Arms out. And now we go. Oh, 
Hold at the top for just a little bit. Doing a good job. during this one because you're doing two moves instead of one. So breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. Okay, perfect. Okay, coming up. So we're going to be in the pipe position twice here. Up we go. Okay, so we just do a toe touch, nice and gentle. We just reach back and touch the toe. So I'm on my toes, my feet aren't flat all the way, okay? Just so you know. I could be. In a can. Either way is good. I just like to be on my toes so I can kind of rock with it too when I do this. It just kind of helps get the lower back just a little bit more. 
Okay, so here we go. Bring the feet in a little bit more. Stay in that pipe. We're gonna alternate sides, all right? Okay, so you're gonna bring the knee in and then up, set it down. In, 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 Now, if being on your arms is too much, you can get down on your hands and knees and just do this one, okay? And just change it to being on the knees, which is fine. Okay, back to the arm. All right, here we go. Okay, arms next to you. Up, out, in, back down. Now, if you need to take a couple extra seconds and readjust that back, head, tush, chin, make sure you do that. I kind of squirm around a little bit until I get to that position that I really want to be in. Make sure you're breathing. My breathing gets off because I talk so much. All right, weights to the side. Get to that pike position. Okay, up we go. Toe touch. Now when you're doing the next one, I really want you to think about what you're doing. You really have to not be sloppy while you do this one. You gotta really point that toe and you bring that leg back out, okay? So we go in and out, set it down. In and out, set it down. In and out. So you're gonna rock just a little bit on the arms. Okay. And you're working, of course, more than just your quad when you do this. It's like a reverse lunge, but we're in the pike position. So we're getting our chest along with it. And our abs. So it's kind of like exercise on steroids. All right, back down, last round. Okay, here we go. Our last set. Okay, back to ready. Up, out, in, down. Make sure those elbows 
and the back of that arm has been coming down right next to your side. Okay, let's get those abs. Let's get that back. Okay, up we go. Touch, touch. Don't be in a rush so that you don't get into the proper position, you know. Take a couple extra seconds if you need to. If you'll get to know this move well enough that you know how to hop right into it. Where your feet need to be, where your hands need to be. And you'll know it doesn't feel right. Because we're not on weight machines that are isolating a muscle group. And even on those, you don't just isolate a muscle group. You still have to use your abs and whatnot to help you lift weights no matter what. And there are secondary muscles. We use a lot more when we're doing this. Changing to the legs. Last set of exercises, right? This is the last exercise in this group. And all of them I try to point that toe. There we go. In point. In point. In point. In point. In point. In point. So after this we're gonna stay on the mat to cool down. So grab your water. Woo! So your arms, your chest should be tired. Woo! Right, so fix whatever you need fixed. Okay, so we're gonna do our cool down. I'm gonna turn. Let's, let's go ahead and open the knees up just a little bit. Walk forward, take your arms out. And let's just rest for a second. Now, if you couldn't touch your head before, you probably can now, right? Inhale, exhale, walk back up. Okay, so let's get into a more comfy position, whatever your comfy position is, and bring that arm across. Okay, let's do the other side. That's a lot of work on the shoulders, I know. Sorry about that. Okay, arms behind. Interlace your fingers. Okay, lift your chin up just a little. Breathe through the top of your chest. the arms, shake them out. You might have noodle arms. Okay, open the legs up nice and wide. Walk out, looking in front of you. Make sure those heels are down, toes are up, okay? Stop where you can. Okay, we're gonna look down at the floor. And as you breathe, I want you to slowly roll your chin in towards your chest, just a little bit more and a little bit more. Bring it back up. And now walk your arms back up. That's great. Okay, so we're going to bring one leg in and you're going to turn the other leg. So both knees are bent, okay? Good. And we're going to just bring ourselves forward into that front leg.
inhale, exhale, we're gonna come up. Okay, so now we're gonna lean back a little bit, bring both feet up, okay? So both feet are flat on the floor. And we're just gonna hold it right here. Try to get the feet flat on the floor, legs are nice and wide, holding it. Okay, now we're going to roll to the other side, bending the knees. i got to turn so that I don't catch my hair on fire. Okay, turn towards that front leg and go ahead and lay yourself down if you can. Inhale, exhale, coming back up. Okay, we're gonna sweep those legs behind us. Okay, we're gonna lay flat on our tummy. Okay, now we're gonna start at the elbows and you're just gonna look up, okay? So the back, the top of your feet are on the floor. So try not to do this, push up through, get a neck. I have a neck. Don't know that you can see it. Do this. Yeah, that's a little better. Okay, now if you're comfy here and you want to go further, let's go ahead and put the hands next to the chest. Inhale. Exhale. Bring yourself up. And then let the belly button slowly go down. So relax your tush. Don't squeeze it. Let the belly button and the hips fall, but and but don't let your shoulders fall. Okay, keep those up. Okay, one more time. We're gonna inhale, exhale. We're gonna push back. So we're gonna lift the tummy, pull the belly button in, push the tissue back, reach those arms out. Uh, so everything shouldn't feel as noodly as before. And then you can stay in that pose if you want to, um, or you can go ahead and bring yourself up. Um, I am Joy from Enjoy Fitness 43. That is our fourth workout in our series of five. So we have one more after this. Um, we're going to do hamstrings, uh, a total ab workout, and our um, back uh, when we work out next time. And uh, subscribe, comment, share with your friends. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed this. So write in the comments if you want more of this sort of thing. Um, when we're done with this, I have another total body that I already have prepared that I'm gonna do. And I will see you later. Have an awesome day. Bye.